when you pass by a school and hear the school bells so many memories are evoked of children rushing in to get their seats of forming a line to go to the assembly leaving their slides and swings and getting back into class ready to attend classes and you would see one child who is a bit late running in so that you know before the teacher enters the class you need to be in class so the school bell is a symbol for nostalgia for childhood memories so today we have a poem by intias darkar it's a century later the school bell is a call to battle every step to class a step into the firing line so this is something very strange the poet begins by saying that the school bell is a call to battle she is comparing these little children getting into school as soldiers going into battle every step to the classroom is a step towards the firing line so here we naturally think why is a battleground compared to a school room let us examine the name of the poem a century later when you say a century later we need to know what happened previously if you take when was this poem written the poem was written in 2014 and what is that iconic important thing that happened a century before 2014 in 1914 the first world war rocked the world so here the poet says what i am going to tell you has happened a century after the first world war here is the target fine skin at the temple cheek still rounded from being 15 so here she says for the battle there is a target the enemy who is approaching is the target they have to be shot but here in the school it is the fine skin at the temple of a child at the forehead of a child that becomes the target the cheeks that are still rounded and rosy from being 15 so is this a child who must be the target so now we are brought the the poet against the backdrop of the first world war she brings in this atmosphere of young children trying to attend school and the obstacle before them is actually a bullet so in the year 2014 when the poem was written a young girl called malala yusufzai was shot in the forehead simply for wanting to attend school and she became known all over the world she was the girl who lived so we see that surrendered surrendered she takes the bullet in the head so here the poet says she surrendered to the oppressor simply not by refusing to learn but she surrendered simply by standing in front of them and accepting the bullet in her forehead and walks on the missile cuts a pathway in her mind to an orchard it's in full bloom a field humming under the sun its lap open and full of poppies so this bullet that went through this child's forehead it reached an orchard an orchard that was brimming with happiness with knowledge with fruits with flowers in full bloom it was a field humming under the bright sun a sea of poppies so here we see that the poet is now bringing into our focus the whole scenario that entire nations where the girl child is denied education where a girl must fight for her right to education and remember that this is a whole century after the first world war we can also call this poem in a sense it is a answer to wilfred owens anthem 
of the doomed youth that is a poem which a uh, first world war soldier has written about the first world war and in that he says that those young boys are driven and are slaughtered like cattle the poem is written in the same rhyme scheme and is similar but only the scenario changes just like the school bell is a call to battle will their owen says that the boys are called in as cattle owen shows us that the slaughter of those soldiers is so meaningless that it is young boys who do not know the meaning of hatred or violence are called into the first world war they were asked to give up their lives and owen says in his poem that there is nobody to light candles for these young boys there is no one to sing for them no one to attend their funerals the candle that is lit at their funeral is the pallor of young girls the faces of young girls who wait for them at home the goodbye that is given to them is coming from the eyes of their friends who are fighting alongside them and perhaps falling in the battle so such a poignant image of actually falling in battle and being killed as the first world war this is the image that is drawn by the poet to show us the intensity of the fight the intensity of the battle to which these young girls are put when they are asking for such a simple thing the education their right to education so but here the poet also presents a positive image by showing us how malala yusufzai did not stop learning in fact she was inspiring the children around her inspiring the girls around her speaking at public places such that the taliban who was at that time ruling pakistan even issued a warning to her that she would be killed but that did not deter her nor did it deter so many young girls who continued in their quest for knowledge this girl has won the right to be ordinary so here after fighting in a battle these children are winning the right to be ordinary that is all she is asking for let me be an ordinary girl wear bangles to a wedding paint her fingernails go to school bullet she says you are stupid you have failed you cannot kill a book or the buzzing in it so these children are merely asking that they be allowed to wear bangles paint their fingernails attend weddings just the normal things that young girls would do but the taliban and other such despotic rulers religious so called religious maniacs impose such restriction on children that they are denied their childhood they are denied their education to go out on the street safely for parents to know that their children will come back home safely so imagine how intense that is that intias karkar wants to show the world that this can be compared to a first world war it can be compared to a battlefield but this child and all the other children as well as our poet says bullet you are stupid you have failed just like the girl who lived came out into the world and today she stands at the oscar she stands at the helm of women's education in the world in the same way all these girls all these women who have defied the norms of patriarchy and fought for their education they have paved the way for those who come after them and she says you cannot kill a book nor the buzzing in it a book cannot be killed and what do you mean by the buzzing in it that is a book is a source of knowledge and it will call on to people to read and that buzzing will continue and that knowledge will spread from one person to another so here the poet is being very symbolic the book is used as the oppressed and the bullet becomes the oppressor 
a murmur a swarm behind her one by one the school girls are standing up to take their places on the front line so there is a murmur there is a swarm the word swarm is usually used for a swarm of bees in a beehive all the bees working together there is also the usage a swarm of locusts which are very scary a swarm can be for a group of insects suddenly coming up but here the swarm are beautiful little girl children little girls who are coming in a swarm coming up defying authority defying something as scary as the taliban something as scary as fanatic parochial a patriarchal society and conventions and declaring their right to education and these school girls when one fell taking a bullet when she was rushed away the others did not scatter with a murmur and a swarm they stood one after the other as the school bell rang they ran and they formed a line to take their places on the front line whether it is to face a bullet fearlessly they are moving forward so this shows the condition of girls in afghanistan pakistan and so many nations where the girl child is denied the same education as the male counterpart intias darkar is a pakistani born poet she was raised in scotland her poems reflect her dual identity her identity and her understanding of the western world as well as her homeland her poems echo her longing for her homeland and her desire for her people to go forward in life she is a feminist poet her works also deal with gender identity self the identity as a woman thank you a century later by imtiaz darkar the school bell is a call to battle every step to class a step into the firing line here is the target fine skin at the temple cheek still rounded from being 15 surrendered surrounded she takes the bullet in the head and walks on the missile cuts a pathway in her mind to an orchard in full bloom a field humming under the sun its lap open and full of poppies this girl has won the right to be ordinary wear bangles to a wedding paint her fingernails go to school bullet she says you are stupid you have failed you cannot kill a book or the buzzing in it a murmur a swarm behind her one by one the school girls are standing up to take their places on the front line